pleasant day for each and everyone, especially to our beloved subject advisor, Mr. Ariel Rubon, and to our dear panelists. Before we proceed to our presentation of our study topic, which is entitled by Comparative Study on the Effectiveness of Utilizing Tea Waste as Fertilizer in the Modification of Growth between Pechai or Bersica Rapa Chinensis and Mung Beans or Bignari Data Plants, we would like to request all of you to bow our heads and feel the presence of our Almighty God as Miss Arabella Pahe leads the prayer. Dear God, thank you Lord for your guidance and love. Thank you for this opportunity to present our research. Thank you for giving us the panelists who will help us improve our study. May this work be relevant and useful. We offer this work to you. Amen. In behalf of my co-researchers, Elisa Corpin, Patricia Maiti, and Lauren Deborah Galvante, this study is rooted from numerous trouble of emptying contaminating our source of necessities, like air, water, and soil. Countless amounts of rubbish around the world gave us a greater adverse effect and ample disasters. Conducting a course of action that will help make this unnecessary stuff or waste of us turn into an exploitable or useful one will be a considerable assistance. Due to the never-ending pollution cause of waste, researchers came up with this research topic to reduce the occurrence of this problem. This study aims to assess the effectiveness of utilizing tea waste as fertilizer in the modification of growth and compare its performance with the different amounts of fertilizer applied in the higher growth between Pechai or Pesigarapa chinensis and Mambin Pignaradiata. One of the reasons why we conduct this study is to know if using waste tea as fertilizer has significant effects on the plant growth of Pecha or Brassicarapa chinensis plants, as well as using waste tea as fertilizer has significant effect on the plant growth of mung bean or Vigna radiata plants. And moreover, to have knowledge and to be informed about the plant growth of Pecha or Brassicarapa chinensis and mung bean Vigna radiata has difference when utilizing tea waste as fertilizer. Our first research question is in which five different measurements or amount of fertilizer would be more effective to the Pechai or Basikarapa chinensis plants, but with no fertilizer, but with one of tablespoon of fertilizer, but with one tablespoon of fertilizer, but with one and one of tablespoon of fertilizer, and pot with two tablespoon of fertilizer. Table 1 shows the growth of a peche plant or Brasicarapa chinensis that was fertilized by tea waste. The growth of peche plants were expressed in the unit of millimeter. The data shows the growth of peche plants in 10 days, which held by twice every week in 5 weeks duration period. Setup 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 are the setups that is used in the table to answer the research question number 1. In the last row, the average of the height or length of the pechai was computed by just adding the measurements in the specific setup, then divided in the total days, which is 10. The data in Table 1 show the growth of each setup and recorded two days every week. In the first column, where the number of weeks and days are indicated, every week is consists of two days' observation of the performance of the growth of the pechai. In order to acquire the answer in research question number one, we use the formula of mean and group data, which is the summation of x divided by n. With the use of the formula, the researchers obtain the average value of growth every setup, from week 1 to 5. All setups perform well growth. At the bottom of part of the table, it presented the computed mean or average of the plants. Setup 1, it showed the most efficient growth which has no fertilizer added to it, with an average value of 48.6. Close to this is set up to which had one and close to this is set up to which had one half tablespoon of wasty fertilizer with an average value of 48. Meanwhile in setup three the computed average is 40.7 that has one tablespoon of fertilizer which is the least average value among all the setups and it means that it has the shortest height group. Due to the fact that the average value of setup 4 and 5 is relatively close to one another, which in setup 4, it calculated that the average is 42, while in setup 5, it determines to be 45.7. 
based on the table 1 and the computed average values or the means of each setups, it is determined that the setup and ratio that appear to be the most potent to the height growth of the plant, Petrobrasica rapachinensis, is setup 1. That even though there is no amount of waste tea for the lyser added to it, it is revealed by the calculation that it showed the highest growth compared to other setups that has fertilizer put into it. Our statement of the problem number two. The researchers tend to answer the question, in which five different measurement or amount of fertilizer would be more effective for growing a moon plant? Table two shows the growth data of moon plant that was observed twice a week within five weeks. A total of 10 days per setup was measured in millimeters. Using the calculated average growth or the mean of moon plant, researchers identified the most effective setup for the plant. According to the data showed in Table 2, the computed mean average of setup 6 is 244.5. The mean average for setup 7 is 217.1. The mean average for setup 8 is 118.7. Then the mean average for setup 9 is 230.4 and the mean average for setup 10 is 200.4. The most effective ratio for the growth of moon plant is 244.5. The pot without a fertilizer. Setup 6, the holder of moon plant without utilized tea waste as fertilizer, shows a great performance among the other setups. Now we proceed to research question number 3. Which grew faster between Pecher Basicarapa chinensis and Mung Bean Vigna radiata plants? Researchers made a graph and present a tabulated data of plants height as well. With the help of these two, the growth between the Mung Beans and Pechai can be clearly seen. The researchers get the mean for all the setups of both plants to perceive which quantity of fertilizer is the most effective. And it shows that the setup with no fertilizer is the most effective one. Subsequently, we compare the recorded measurements of both plants in the aforementioned setup. On the second day of measuring Pechai plant, the difference that we get is 22 milliliters because the first measured height of Pechai is. 10 and 32 for the second time we measured the plant's height. Mang, mang bean's height on first time we measured, it is 37 milliliters and 96 on the second. The difference that we get with this measurement is 53 milliliters. The difference that the researchers obtained tells that mang beans was grew faster than pechai plant. And for research question number four, which significance of the different amounts of fertilizer to determine the growth or height of pet chai or Bersicarapa chinese and mung beans which begin data. The table shows the findings of pet chai Bersicarapa chinese plant with different amounts of tea waste as fertilizer in the soil and non-fertilized soil from week 1 to 5. The mean, sum of all heights, number of treatment conditions, total number of heights, number of heights in each treatment and the total of each treatment conditions are all indicated in this table. The last row presents the sum of square in each treatment which computed by the using of formula sum of square is equal to summation of x squared minus summation of x squared over n. This table presents the findings of the data by using the ANOVA test or F test. The computed F statistic that is based on the table is 95.19 and the F critical value is 2.58 because the absolute value of F statistic is bigger than the F critical value. This calculation suggests that the null hypothesis must be rejected. F statistic is greater than F critical or 95.19 is greater than 2.58. Therefore, there is a significant effect on the growth of pet chai or Berixica rapachinesis plant when utilizing tea waste as its fertilizer because the computed value or computed absolute value of F statistic is greater than the F critical. The table shows the findings of mung beans 
Vignera Jata plant with different amounts of pea waste as fertilizer into soil and unfertilized soil from week 1 to 5. Mean sum of all heights, number of treatment conditions, total number of heights, number of heights in each treatment, and the total of each treatment conditions are all indicated in this table. The last row presents the sum of square in each treatment which computed by using the formula. The sum of square is equal to summation of x squared minus summation of x squared over n. This table presents the findings of the data by using ANOVA test or F test. The computed F statistic value that is based on a table is 0 0.230 and the F critical value is 2.58. This computation indicates that the null hypothesis cannot be rejected for the reason that the absolute value of F statistic is not equal or greater as the F critical value. F critical is greater than F statistic or 2.58 is greater than 0 0.23. Therefore, there is no significant effect on the growth of mound beans or big jata plant when utilizing tea waste at its fertilizer because the computed value or computed absolute value of F critical is greater than the F statistic. Fertilizer comes in a variety of forms both natural or organic fertilizer which made of carbon and manufactured or inorganic fertilizer that contains chemicals which can help the plants to grow faster. However, it may also cause of extension of pollution. Fertilizer coming from waste helps to reduce the problem of pollution in one's country. The results of the comparative study on the effectiveness of Tea waste as fertilizer to the modification of growth between Pechai or Bersigarapa Chinese and mung beans, which began jet plants, were all based on the observation, experiments, and tests. To compute for the necessary details in, exam in examining the hypothesis, one way ANOVA is used. The value of F for Pechai and the table F are then computed at the same time. The value of F for Pechai is 90.15, yet the table F equivalent is just 2.58. The value of F for Pechai plant is visibly higher than the value of table F, so the researchers should reject the hypothesis. Using waste tea as fertilizer has substantial influence on the growth of Pechai plant. The second plant that the researcher chose on where the fertilizer is going to establish is mung beans. As the recording period for mung beans completed, it followed by computations of the data using ANOVA. After computing the tabulated details for this plant, researchers acquired a value of 0 0.230 for the F value of mung beans and the table F 2.58 is the same value that is going to wield on. The hypothesis using waste tea as fertilizer has considerable effects on the growth of mung bean plant is based on these calculated results. It cannot be rejected since the value of F for mung beans is lower than the table F. After all the two hypotheses being scrutinized and examined, all the computations come up a different result for the two plants. This data that is computed revealed that waste tea as fertilizer for pechai doesn't really give a significant effect on its growth. However, this data manifests a different outcome for mung beans. As the fertilizer utilized to mung beans and computed its reaction with it, researchers found that the relation between mung beans and waste tea fertilizer has a significant effect. To become reliable our research study, we collected review-related literatures and we utilized it in our study. These are some of our references of the study.